Hello everyone and welcome to the second tutorial on Mod Loader. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make your own bee. So we start where we left off. If you didn't see the last tutorial, there will be a annotation in the bottom screen, in the top of the screen, I'm sorry, with the link to the last tutorial. Anyway, so inside of our if condition we had this thing that printed that we can add our gi and let's add it by writing minecraft dot display gui screen and inside we have to write new the name of the the gi which we, in this case will be gi start and some variables inside our world uh, this and Minecraft and you will get an error because we haven't created this class yet so that is what we are going to do so just open your sources create a new class and the name it's GUI start if you create it you can see that we still have an error because this isn't a gi yet so to make this a gi just write extends gi screen and yes <laughs> now let's uh, add the constructor which is public gi start and the parameters are world world one uh, mod citycraft which is this <laughs> exactly and mod city craft and finally minecraft minecraft and we have to import Minecraft and there you go no errors but if you run it nothing will happen because we haven't coded the GUI itself so before we do that let's just add some variables which are private world and we call it world and private Minecraft and we call it MC So inside here, yeah, inside our constructor, we need to give these variables that we just created some values. So the MC variable will get the Minecraft value and the world will get the world one. This, how can I explain it? This, these parameters will get the, them values from here and they will place them on these variables. I think that's quite underst understandable. Anyway, now that, we, now that we have this, we need to write three methods, which are public void init g and protected void oops I'm sorry action perform it actions performed and these have a parameter which is GUI button and the name can be GUI button as well and the last method it's a public void draw screen and the parameters are int i, int a j and float f. So now we are ready to go. Inside init gi we will have our buttons. So let's say we want to add a button. So let's write control list dot clear. 
this clears our screen so there is nothing on it right now and let's add a control list dot add and we will we are we are going to add a new button I'm sorry a new GUI button and the parameters that this button takes are the first one is the ID of the button which we can then call in our actions to do let's say print out something so the second one is the position of the X so with let's just say divided by 2 less 50 the second one it is our height so height height I mean the y-axis so height divided by 2 take some like 10 and then the third height I think I oh I spelled it wrong spell wrong eight okay the third one oh sorry fourth one it is the width of our button so 100 should be good and the I don't know how many we are now so it is the height next 20 usually the buttons are 20 you can make them bigger but the height is the minimum is 20 and the final one is our string so let's say we created a button okay that sounds cool <laughs> let's save it and now in our draw screen method we are going to write draw default default background and yes it is going good so this if you open your inventory while you are playing minecraft you will see that the background will be like a semi-transparent black that is what this does so and the next thing we have to write is let's draw some text like draw centered string what is the problem right here oh I forgot the argument I'm sorry <laughs> this was very dumb so the first argument is font font renderer and the second one is our string so this is a text string I don't know let's just say text 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 and text more text I don't know what's right there so the third one it is the position of the X so width divided by 2 so it is in the middle the other one is our height I was right sorry height and let's divide it by 2 and subtract 30 20 and the other one it is the color well I, I'm not sure if you are familiar with our RGB so I will use RGB in this case 0 times FF 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 and this makes our text white if you put it 0 times zero 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 this will make it black so but we want it white because our background is kind of black and now if we run it and we can see that let's just create a new world blah 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 you can see that it's ticking 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 and when it reached 100 you can see we have our text, 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 and I don't know why we don't have our button. So, 
Yeah, guys, I'm sorry I forgot this. I don't know why. I just added in our draw screen method this thing, which is a loop that we loop through all controls, all control list. And if the control list is a button, it will draw it. I'm sorry, I forget it. I give you some time to copy this. If you guys want the these classes, these Java dot Java things, just ask me in the comments. I will send them to you by private message. And I think that's all. Let's just run it. I'm I'm going to need to add here some change this because this is too big for the button. So if you run it. Let's just create another world, another world. You can see that the world is ticking. And once it reaches 100, it will show our ID. So as you can see, we created a button and text, 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 text. If we, cry, we, if we click the button, there is nothing happening. I'm not going to show this in this tutorial because I'm running out of time. Yes, I'm running out of time. And well, if you guys enjoy this tutorial, please leave me a like. That helps a lot. If you guys want to continue seeing more tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. I will be very, very appreciated. And well, until the next episode, guys, I'm probably not going to show how to make these actions. It's not very difficult but i'm sorry i'm not going to show you i have other thing in mind so until the next episode guys have a nice day